Hi, my name is Phil Dedemore from Pork Park Percussion. I'm here with my good friend Andy Dorschek from Drum Magazine. I uh, wanted to show you some new things we have uh, for this year uh, for the NAMM show. Um, over here, if uh, we pan around, I have a new, uh, uh, new drum set. It is uh, maple shell, uh, uh, four ply maple with three ply rosewood on the inside in a satin white finish. When you say on the inside, is it an inner? Are they inner plies or three inner plies of, uh, of uh, rosewood? Wow. Okay. The sizes of this kit are 10, 12, 14, 16, 6 by 14 snare drum, and an 18 by 22 bass drum. Nice. And is this, is this sort of a production line kit? Then? Yes, it is. It is a production line kit. Price is a production line kit. And it comes in any color you want as long as you love white. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh, over here is a new uh, kit that we have that is uh, all vintage shells. Huh. The vintage three fly. This kit uh, in particular, uh, I chose to put the outside as ribbon stripe mahogany. And I did a custom paint job on it. And uh, the shells also have six ply reinforced maple reinforcing rings. And uh, I can make these uh, this kit in any size. Uh, this kit uh, just before the show I made it in a uh, uh, nine by thirteen, sixteen by sixteen, and sixteen by eighteen, fourteen by twenty four, and a six by four, six and a half by fourteen snare drum. Uh, this is a snare drum I came up with uh, a couple of months ago. And what I did was I took my patina brass uh, snare drum shell and I cut the bead out of the middle. And what I did was I put the brass around a wood shell. And the wood shell goes all the way up into, into the inside of the bearing edge of the brass. That's crazy. So the heads actually sit on a brass shell, but the tone comes from the wood that's in the middle. So what does that do to the sound? Well, you get the crisp uh, attack of the brass for, yeah, and the sensitivity, sensitivity of the brass, and then you get the, the tone and the warmth of the maple shell on the inside. That's really cool. And then what I'm going to do also do is look at uh, having different woods that I can use on the inside shell. If I could use mahogany or, you know, poplar, I could use anything on the inside. And I can also vary the thickness of the flies to uh, change the sound. Neat. That's, that's a great idea. Combination flies, you know, the, like the maple rosewood, anything like that. Anything else in snare drums we should take I do. I do. Uh, wanna, I have two other ones I'd like to show you. Sure. This snare drum here is 100% uh, peach. Peach? Yeah, so it's an 8 ply peach snare drum. Nice. 6 by 14 with an antique maple uh, or antique peach uh, finish. Yeah. So this is new for this year. And I'm also getting into uh, making staves. I have oh, a new, cool. new supplier of stave snare drums. Let's take a look. And uh, let me show you this one. This one's really cool. It's uh, it's all hickory. And the cool thing about these shells is if you look at the joints where the where they're joined together. I believe this joint here is called a finger joint. So there's a, a bigger blue area, and there's also uh, um, something like a tooth to hold it in place. I see. So they don't crack. It's like a wedge. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, but the biggest thing is the, uh, the blue area. There's more, more area for glue to hold it together. Interesting. Yeah. So, so it keeps the integrity of the shell. Yeah. Yeah. It'll just stay. It'll just stay. Uh, stay around longer. Uh, that's a tougher shell because of that. And that's a pretty beefy shell right there. Yeah, it's it's a thick shell. These sound great. Um, so I've got uh, here at the show. I've got uh, the seven by fourteen in uh, in hickory. And the hickory is an unusual uh, shell type. Hickory is very, very, very hard and very dense. Uh, so it's hard, hard that's, to work with. Yeah, that's why they make uh, like axe handles out of it, hammer hammers, and hammer stick. handles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, yeah. baseball bats. Right. So uh, yeah, this is new. Uh, we're doing right here for the show. I've got hickory seven by fourteen. I've got a maple six by fourteen. I've got a walnut seven by fourteen and a six by fourteen oak. Is that the oak right there? Yep. Yeah. This is a uh, new snare drum that I'm going to be uh, promoting more in 2012. If you look at the inside of the shell, in between the logos, 
Yeah, there's three holes in it, in between each one. Are those air holes? Those are air holes are directly oh. underneath the lug holes so that the drum vents through the lugs. This, it lets the air out in a real even, uh, even place. That's such a cool idea. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. And this particular drum is a uh, 12-ply maple. Uh, we call the Finnish albino oyster. And vented lugs, 3.0 hoops. And that's it. And it's a lovely piece of work. Yes, it is. Ah. <laughs>